Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick review of this guitar and a little bit of storytelling. So, I'm going to play it for a second. <laughs> to this, the uh, review portion, portion of this quicker than usual. Um, the guitar itself, things I like about it, pickups. I was extremely impressed at how quiet these are. Um, I had a Mexi Fender Tele. The thing just would not shut up. And so when I bought this, I was kind of apprehensive because it's a cheap guitar. And when I got it, it's quiet as a mouse. Well, there's a little bit of hum, but nothing compared to the the telly that I had. Uh, the other thing I like about it is, is I like the neck, I like the controls, I like the bridge, uh, and so, and the sound. I mean, I am extremely happy with it. twang kind of sound but anyway other than that those are the things I like about it things I don't like about it this thing is insanely heavy I actually bought a, a little back piece and a router and I'm gonna route out the back hopefully um, and people have said you know you're gonna ruin the sound but they you know they put active electronics in guitars all the time and they make the cavity hopefully I can take a half pound out of this thing or a pound uh, the other thing that, um, the only other thing that's a downfall for me, um, not a, not a no-go kind of thing is, is just that these tuners, there's some slippage. Uh, there might be a way to adjust that, but I don't know. Once I'm in tune, it stays in tune, but sometimes it, it takes an extra half a tune before I can get it to, to actually get to where it needs to be. And I may need to adjust um, file the, the nut down a little bit, um, and that may allow for the that slippage to stop. But it feels like it's it's kind of stiff on a couple of the tuners and really easy on a couple of the other tuners. Uh, but other than the weight and the tuners, uh, I'm shocked. I was actually I bought this guitar as a project guitar. Um, I paid eighty two dollars, eighty two dollars. Uh, of course, I had to pay shipping. The shipping is 35 bucks, but I actually ordered that with the PRS guitar um, that you saw a review for before. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, I couldn't believe what I got. I was, I, like I said, I bought this as a project guitar. I was going to repaint it, um, but I actually really like the color. I like the, the plate on it, and I was going to put new pickups in. I like the sound. I'm still toying with the idea of, of getting some pickups on, I think it's guitarfetish.com. They have some that have uh, easy change out uh, ability. Uh, they call it a, I think, quick wick or something like that. 
anyway, I thought about it. But this guitar, I mean, to me, um, plays better than the Mexi Telly that I had, uh, or at least it sounds better to me. Uh, and I would probably buy another one uh, of these models if it didn't weigh a ton. Um, I am looking forward to maybe getting another one of the Harley Benton Tellys that's a little bit of an upgrade. But this is the one of the cheapest guitars they sell, and it is great for a beginner. It's great for somebody who wants a backup uh, guitar. Um, I play stoner doom metal type stuff. I play country rockish type stuff. I play ACDC type stuff. Uh, and this guitar um, really, really plays well with all those styles of music. So I definitely recommend it. Funny story. Uh, I was looking at, buy, uh, I wasn't looking at buying, but I was looking at a uh, review for a Jimmy Page telly. And it was made with the same wood for the body, the same wood for the neck. And the thing about this is you notice there's no holes back here. And Jimmy Page model has holes, but I found out he doesn't even use the holes. His strings go straight through the bridge. And so I was like, I'm not paying $1,500 for that, or $1,200, whatever it is. I'm going to try one of these for $82. Bucks. And then I thought about, like I said, decorating it myself to have my own style. But the thing sounds so good, I might just leave it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.